ready here. All right, here with uh, White Sox uh, shortstop Tim Anderson. Uh, Tim, the weather out here isn't ideal, but can you talk about the importance of getting out here with some of the, your teammates, some of the coaches, and just getting some work in in advance of spring training? Uh, it's, it's always good to uh, get out early and let everybody see you. I mean, it's a good good time out here. Um, well, it's not good, but good, good work in and in the cages, so it's always good. Last year at Birmingham, you had an MVP caliber season. Can you talk about what that did for your confidence as you kind of go through each level uh, in, in the system, uh, but proving yourself at, uh, as one of the younger players in Double A? Mm, that made me feel good. Uh, just the year I had, I think I had a great year, uh, and, and just basically boost me up and going into this spring training. I feel real good going to spring training. So, yeah, that, that was going to be my question. That said, what's your mindset uh, heading into spring training in 2016? Um, as opposed to maybe last year or year before that? Um, I feel like I, I put myself in a good situation uh, coming off that year uh, and just going to spring training and, and just continue on and show them that I can play shortstop because uh, a lot of people doubted me. So I just want to prove them to them that I can stay there. White Sox fans are excited. They've kind of pointed you to you as the uh, shortstop of the future. For those who haven't seen you play, how would you describe your style uh, to, to White Sox fans? Uh, I'm aggressive. Uh, I'm tough to beat, and I just love playing the game. And I'll say I'm a good guy to watch. So um, that said, what uh, is there one specific area where you feel like you need to improve on, or you're coming into camp like, hey, I need to work on this in order to take Nick, uh, take the next step in my career? Um, I always work on fielding. Uh, I always feel like I need to work on fielding because I mean that's the main focus that everybody's focusing on in my fielding, and I feel like I just need to work on that a lot more. So. Uh, the Sox were active in the trade market in the off season, and obviously your name is one of the top prospects. Came up a lot. Are you aware of that speculation? And if so, how, how do you process it? How do you handle it or, with, without letting it become a distraction or affect your mindset? Uh, it's something I can't control. Uh, it's just how it lays out. I mean, I have to go with it because I can't control it. So I try not to think about it as much. That said, is it somewhat of a relief, though, knowing you're coming into – you're putting on the uh, the White Sox black and silver again heading into the year? Yeah, uh, it feels great. I mean, I love being White Sox. So. All right. Last question, or actually second to last uh, – uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you. You're from Alabama. I heard there's a big game coming up here uh, next Monday. Do you have a prediction on the uh, the outcome between uh, Alabama and Clemson? Uh, Alabama's going to win, no doubt. You got a prediction uh, prediction on the score? Uh, I don't, uh, but it's not going to be close. Roll Tide, you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One other thing too, I understand you got a big change coming in your life in March. Uh, the addition of your first uh, child. Uh, all right, so that'll be uh, a big change for you, obviously, in spring training and. Uh, be an ex exciting March for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting uh, having a girl. I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Tim, appreciate the time. Right, thank you. Thank you.